Hello everyone, so in this video I'll be talking about one-way analysis of variance. So in my previous video I was talking about uh, doing one pair t-test and uh, pair t-test uh, which is basically when you want to compare just two means. However, if you have more than two means then you use one-way analysis of variance or also known as ANOVA. So here, uh, so similar to the previous uh, uh, test where we were comparing two means, here when we have multiple means, your null hypothesis will be that each of the mu's, uh, each of the means are uh, uh, equal to each other. Uh, your alternate hypothesis in this case will be that uh, uh, at least two of the means uh, above are not equal. So basically the test statistic that is used uh, to uh, answer this hypothesis is uh, F ratio which is the variance between groups and uh, the uh, divided by the random error variance. So if the F ratio is close to 1 then uh, you can come to the conclusion that your null hypothesis is true. Uh, if your F ratio is much much greater than 1 uh, then you come to the conclusion that uh, your uh, uh, null hypothesis is false or you reject it and accept the uh, alternate hypothesis. So let me switch over to jump and uh, show you uh, what I have here. So here I have a variable and data taken from uh, 100 different samples. However, uh, they were taken from 5 different trials and each trial had uh, 20 different measurements. So uh, let's see how to perform the uh, uh, the ANOVA here. So here, uh, so we have five different trials. So this is what we are trying to compare uh, and see that uh, if the how different uh, the means are from uh, these five trials. So uh, you go to analyze uh, and then you choose fit y by x. Here you choose variable as your y response and your trial number as your uh, x factor and uh, you can say okay. So jump by default uh, shows the uh, distribution uh, of the variable as a function of the grand mean uh, for the different trial numbers. So in order to uh, plot the uh, perform the uh, one-way analysis of variance, uh, you can choose the rectangle option and select means or ANOVA. So here now you can see that the mean diamonds are shown for uh, the different samples uh, and uh, you can kind of see that uh, uh, for sample 3 at least from the, this figure alone you can see that uh, uh, the mean diamond does not overlap with uh, any of the other uh, uh, mean diamonds so you can kind of uh, uh, say that uh, the mean for the third trial is somewhat significantly different from the others. Uh, and also uh, you can see that the F ratio is around 45 which is quite large since it is greater than 1 and also the P value for prop greater than F is uh, uh, less than uh, 0 0.05 uh, which uh, and so these two together uh, kind of uh, tell that uh, your uh, uh, null hypothesis uh, must be rejected and uh, you must accept the alternate hypothesis where uh, you say that uh, either uh, uh, two of the uh, means are quite different. But now uh, by just looking at these mean diamonds you cannot say uh, uh, which two means are different from each other. Uh, there are more specific tests uh, you, with which uh, you can determine uh, which uh, mean is significantly different. Now let's say you are comparing uh, uh, between the means of uh, these uh, five different groups. Uh, you can uh, do what is known as uh, the compare means and here uh, you have five different options. So in this video uh, we'll be seeing the student's t-test and also the two keys HSD or uh, so let's see the student t-test. So here you can see that uh, in the students uh, each pair uh, students t uh, you, can, you can see that uh, when you click on the circles here uh, whichever circles overlap, uh, it kind of tells that uh, the means are uh, somewhat close by. Uh, however, uh, the means uh, for the data set that are uh, far apart, uh, they appear gray in color. So now if you choose the third one, 
you can kind of see that none of the other cycles uh, none of the other circles are getting highlighted uh, which kind of tells that uh, the third one the mean of the third sample set is significant uh, quite uh, significantly different from the others similarly uh, you can kind of see uh, tell the same thing for the first one uh, and note that the first one uh, some part of the uh, mean diamond kind of overlaps with the fifth one but despite that uh, uh, you can see that uh, from the student's t test it kind of confirms that uh, the means are uh, quite significantly different additionally uh, if you uh, scroll down uh, let me just minimize all these uh, so here uh, and let me minimize these so in this uh, order difference report uh, you can kind of see that uh, there are uh, around uh, so here you can kind of see uh, how each of the means are uh, related to each other or this shows the the between group variation and um, if they are significantly different then the p-value is going to be uh, less than the significant uh, 0 0.05 so here you can see that the first one and third one uh, the p-value is quite significant similarly you can see uh, that for the first uh, nine of these uh, observations uh, of these uh, combinations uh, you can see that the p-value is uh, less than the significant 0 0.05 so you, you can uh, kind of tell that uh, multiple of these uh, means are not equal to each other now uh, there is uh, another uh, comparison that you can do uh, which is uh, so student t-test is uh, kind of uh, very sensitive uh, but uh, there is also two keys HSD uh, which is a little bit more less sensitive uh, I'll be giving a link in the description which will explain the difference between students T and uh, two keys uh, HSD test uh, so if you turn on the two keys HSD you can kind of see that the circles are a little bigger uh, and uh, you can see that from the student's t-test uh, when we chose the first one uh, it didn't overlap with any of the other circles however in two keys hsd you can see that uh, the first one kind of uh, overlaps with the fifth one and the second one and uh, similarly the fourth one kind of overlaps with the fifth one and the second one and uh, similar to uh, the student's t uh, uh, two keys also gives the p-values uh, but yeah, you can kind of see that the, the because uh, this test is less sensitive compared to students T, the number of uh, combinations that you see here are less. And additionally, if you also want to compare uh, each of the group means uh, with the grand mean, uh, you can also do that uh, by uh, uh, doing the analysis of means or a norm test. Uh, so from the red triangle option, uh, you can choose uh, analysis of uh, means method and choose a norm so here uh, this kind of compares the mean of uh, each of these groups along with the grand mean so the gray line here in the middle is the grand mean and uh, these are the individual means and you can see that whichever is highlighted in red it kind of tells that uh, uh, they are significantly different from uh, the grand mean and in this test you can see that uh, first second third and fifth their means are significantly different from the grand means so in this way uh, you can kind of compare uh, the uh, within variation uh, within group variation of the uh, different means as well as uh, comparing each of the group means with the grand mean uh, 